feelings, there's a misunderstanding. I'm, I'm not drunk. I have cerebral palsy. They were like, that's a pretty big word for a drunk ass. I was in there for seven days. They were like, damn, buddy, what did you drink? That's the part of my performance I'd like to inform you. You all are going to hell for laughing at me. Gosh, everybody loves you, obviously. So Hi. what inspired you to do stand-up, of all things? I didn't think I had a choice, really. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do? Be a traffic cop? <laughs> I did vote Republican. I didn't mean to. It was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Damn you. Damn you. Now let me say this right now because I feel some people staring at me. I just want to say I'm not drunk. You, you know, I don't drink because I'm afraid if I start drinking, I might start walking straight. And I know if I start walking straight, I'll lose my benefits. You know, matter of fact, when I meet women, I tell women, I say, look, you know, there's a lot of people getting laid off nowadays. A lot of people that lost their jobs. You need to hook up with somebody like me because I'm guaranteed some kind of money. I just want to say I'm glad my comedy career is going a lot better than my last one. You know, because before I started doing stand-up, I used to be a 911 operator. No, I was. They just, they just let me go because a couple incidents on the job. Like the first one was, old lady going to call up, talking about somebody in her house. I said, well, you better get your ass out. Now they, now they warned me on that one. They said, Charles, you can't talk to the people like that. You, the people scared, and this is why I talk to them, help them calm them down. I, I said, you should have told me all that before I took the job. In my low 60s, disfigured, and in the words of my mother, back on the rack. Friends have been trying to get me to date. I hate dating. That's another reason why I kept getting married. <laughs> and then along came Michael. Wild, sexy, brilliantly funny, and brimming with potential. I used to specialize in men with potential. Our life together took Michael from being a cab driver to being a fancy lawyer. I knew all along that he was a bad boy, but I knew that marriage to me would settle him right down. That was an excruciating divorce. I made the decision to postpone suicide until my kids were old enough to take care of themselves. And you know all about Jeff. By the time he left, I had accumulated so many last names that one of my sons said, you know, Mom, you could be your own law firm. 